Hey everybody, this is Captain Gimo, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create frames for your photos like the ones you see on my website at CaptainGimo.com. Now normally I create frames using Photoshop CS, but in this video I am going to use Photoshop Elements to create the frame. And the photo we're going to use for this tutorial is this image of an Egyptian goose. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the layer here on this image. You can see it's says background layer with a lock icon. If you double click on it you'll get a new layer menu here. Click OK and what this does is it creates a layer out of the background layer. Basically you're unflattening the Photoshop file. So once we do that we can go into the image and we're going to go and change the canvas size. Um, click on the canvas size option and we will get a um, a window here where we can adjust the canvas size. We're going to make the canvas a little bigger so we're going to do it by percent. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the width of the uh, canvas size to 105 percent and this is just width only and we'll click OK and this adds a little bit of width to our right and left uh, image you can see here and now we're going to go back into the canvas size again and we're going to click that and we're going to use percentage and we're going to go into the height option here and we will do about a hundred and seven percent on the height and we'll click OK and this adds a little more height to our image so it adds some extra canvas to our photo um, next we're going to want to make the bottom of the image, add some extra canvas to the bottom of the image to put the logo and some text on the bottom of the, the image. So we're going to do that by going back into the canvas size and then we're going to select percentage and this time we're going to want to make sure we click our anchor point, click the top, top anchor point and what this does is this will tell Photoshop to only create extra canvas in the bottom of the image so we're going to want to do that and go into height and we're going to put in a hundred and thirteen percent and we'll click OK and this will give us some extra image on our extra canvas on the bottom of our image so that we can put our text and logo and stuff like that um, next we're going to create a another layer here so we're going to go ahead and click the create new layer button down here and then we're going to drag this um, this layer here. We're going to drag it to the bottom of the uh, goose head image or the goose head layer. And then we're going to fill in this layer with a color. Okay, so to fill the layer in with a color, we'll go into Edit, Fill Layer, and we will fill with a color. Now you can fill with a background or a background foreground, black, white, or gray color. You can also fill with a pattern, but we're going to use the color option here, so we're going to click on that. Now, we're going to get another menu here is another menu to choose color. Um, we can select any color we want in this palette and choose the color to fill in our layer. Now, what I like to do is I like to take my cursor here. I'll take it off of the uh, the menu and you'll get a little eyedropper tool and if you click on a sample in the image it will sample that color and you can notice the color is changing over here and for this photo we're gonna sample something dark right here the dark green area for our layer color so I'm gonna sample right around there and click OK and click OK here and it will fill in our layer here with that dark green. Once we have our layer filled in there we're gonna go into the top menu where the goose is uh, and we're going to create a little stroke around the image and we're gonna go into layer layer style and into style settings. We're gonna click on that and we have some settings or styles that we can use uh, for this uh, particular uh, photo here we're gonna use stroke and if you click on this little color palette here another menu will pop up to select a different color um, and this is the same type of concept here you can select the color from this area or if you bring the cursor out into the photo you can select a color from the photo and I like to do this because I like to keep the uh, color scheme similar to the image and we're gonna select the color that is right around the uh, the duck feather here or the, or the goose feather and I think 
this color looks good so I'm gonna use that color and click OK now the next time I'm, I'm gonna change the stroke size to about one point just to make the stroke a little smaller I don't really want it that big so we're gonna set it to one point and click OK now if we get off it you can see the uh, small little stroke here around the image so our frame is starting to take shape here it's starting to look nice um, next we're going to start adding text in the bottom here so we're going to use the text tool right here and we're going to select the little text tool and just make a little a little box here for us to type in some text and we're just going to label it goosehead and then maybe make the type a little bigger I I think 10 point will be good and then we're just gonna move that type down a little bit right below the uh, the picture there okay next we're going to want to if we want to create something similar to what I have in my website maybe a subtitle I'm going to just duplicate this layer here there's text layer I'm gonna go into the uh, the layer menu here and just duplicate the layer and then we'll have another layer same layer I'm gonna use the move tool click over here to use the move tool and we're just gonna move it straight down below that uh, other layer and we're going to go back into the text uh, tool here and select that and we're just going to make it a little smaller here and we're just gonna we're gonna recall it subtitle or something different and and then we have the subtitle there and then the title up here um, next we're going to import a logo um, this is a logo I have for my we're gonna just place it into our image and this is a logo I created a while back for my pictures or my picture frames and you can create your own um, once I import it in you can see it's all black but uh, I did that purposely so what I do here is I'm going to use screen and what that does is just bring out the the highlights or the the highlight areas of the uh, the layer here, the logo, and you can see the nice signature and my little copyright symbol down there. And we're almost done. Um, to finish this off, um, I like to have a line that runs across the bottom there. So to do that, I will create a new layer. Click on the new layer option here. We'll have a new layer, and I will use the pencil tool here. Um, set at one point at a hundred uh, percent here, opacity and then I will click on the edge of the left side of the image of the goose head and I will hold shift and just drag across to the other side of the uh, goose head image to create my little line um, next I will use the move tool to bring down the line actually I'm gonna have to zoom in here so I can uh, make sure I move the line a little easier here and then we'll just bring it right around here and that looks good. We're going to zoom out now. And you can see the, uh, you can't see the line here, but let me zoom out. You can see the line there. And now we're, we're done. Um, this is how I create my frames for my photos. Of course, in Photoshop CS, I do it a little bit differently. I actually created an action for it. So it does all this automatically. And all I have to do is go in and change the, uh, the title and the subtitle to the uh, photo. Um, now I'm going to do another video using Photoshop CS and showing you how to create an action from it. So you don't have to keep doing this uh, same, same thing over and over again. Um, but that video is going to be for members only. And you can learn more about my cap Captain Kimo's members only tutorials at my website at CaptainKimo.com. So that's it for this video. So until next time, this is Captain Kimo signing out.